Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I'm up. Had a long, it's been a busy week this week. I feel like this week we've been doing a lot of on and running, which we have. And so today I have to run this afternoon, but I'm like, I wanna make something. I wanna make something. I've got all these groceries and all this stuff and I just wanna make something because we've been having quick meals here and there and that's okay because different times in life we get that. So I'm like, I just wanna give make some treats. I wanna get up and make some meals, but I'm gonna do the treats today. We'll focus on just a simple meal tonight and then tomorrow we'll work on meals for the weekend. So we had a great day. It was a long day yesterday. Long day, Vina. We had such a fun time. Got home. It was nine. I think we all got home about, I think it was about nine o'clock, a little after nine. And I looked at Greg, I'm like, hmm. I said, you have options. I said, we can go in the pool or we can go to bed. I said, um, either one, it's good with either one. Tired, very tired, so either one. And so we said, you know what? The pool's warm, let's go in the pool. So that is our favorite way to unwind at the end of the day. So we went in the pool, we swam, and then we have lights out there. And then when the lights shut off, it, I think I have them shut off at 10 or something, I don't even know. But when they shut off, it's kind of like, oh, it's time to go in. And so they, sh they shut off and we're like, oh, does this mean we gotta go in? And we didn't, we stayed outside for a little bit longer. So just felt really good, relaxing. Just sometimes after those long days, it's good to unwind that way. So so we did and then came in right to bed was out got up this morning had some coffee and I'm like I gotta make some stuff because I gotta get out the door here by the afternoon so today what I'm gonna do is make a couple treats and make a meal and then um, after lunch I'm gonna go pick up Brooklyn from work and the kids and her and I all, those, all of us basically everyone we gotta go shopping <laughs> I don't mind shopping. I love shopping. I love clothes shopping. I don't mind it. But when your kids hit, kids hit a certain age and they like very specific things, like very specific, and they're just comfy in them and that's what they like, that's when it gets a little bit more like, all right, let's hope we can find everything. So um, I have to shop for the boys. They're always, they're fun. I shouldn't say they're not fun. They're fun to shop for. It's just like finding what they like. And so I'm hopeful today. I'm very hopeful. <laughs> And then teenage girls, you know how teenage girls are with sizes and clothing and how it fits everybody. Yeah, not fair. Not one size is not the same as the other size. A size four in one brand is not a size four in another brand. So finding the right things. So and I'm not gonna get complaining. So I'm hopeful for a great, exciting afternoon. <laughs> that, basically that's it. Big smile on my face. We're gonna do it. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm hopeful. I know we'll be great. So that I wiped out the entire afternoon. I'm like, I will leave here, get all my work done, be done, get out the door here and just plan the entire afternoon for shopping. Hopefully we find everything, we'll be good. We gotta head to a bigger bigger area where there's more stores and more variety. We tried our little local area, found a few, which is good. Um, found a few things, that, so that's a great start, positive on that, but I just need to head to the bigger one. The bigger, the big giant one, where they have a huge mall over there, the, we call it the Bougie Mall. <laughs> but we're not gonna go to the Bougie Mall because it's pretty bougie and pretty filled and full but we're gonna head to like all the outline stores. So that is our goal today. I'm like, that's my only thing I have to do. I wanna get food done, head shopping. If that's good, great. By the end of the day, I'll be all good and free and clear and then it'll be Friday, food. I don't, do we have anything Friday? I don't even know, but I'm just focusing on today. Let's focus on today. So today, let's make some food. You guys ready? All right, let's go. First thing I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make something that I do not do very good at. I, I can do a lot of things well. I can make food well, I can do things, but one thing I have not perfected is a good chocolate chip cookie recipe. I don't have one. I have a cookbook. I have a cookbook with all of our family favorite recipes right inside of it, all of it. We've been making this food since the beginning of time, like the beginning, like since um, the older ones were little. And guess what? There's not a chocolate chip cookie. There's a chocolate chip bar recipe, and this is good. For some reason, it doesn't turn out good for cookies. I don't know, or maybe it will. It's just the random thing. But I do not have a chocolate chip cookie recipe. My experience with chocolate chips, I think last year in the mountains, I did a day where I did the different kinds of butter, because I figured it has something to do with the humidity, because I'll make them great one day, the same exact ingredients the next time, and it'll be a total fail. Why? And I thought, well, maybe it's the butter. Maybe it's the shortening. Maybe it's the fake butter that I use. And I realized, you know what? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we made cookies. Maddie and I made cookies um, a couple, I don't even know, a couple months ago, the mini chocolate chip ones. The first time we made them, perfection. Perfection. They were amazing. We made the exact same cookies, the exact, mind you, the next time, 
they did not turn out and I was like, I mean, they were okay. They were just not as good as the first time. I'm like, what is happening? I really think it has to do with the humidity, the heat, everything else. I get that, whatever. So when you have issues and you have things that don't turn out amazing, you turn to the experts. So who would I say would be an expert in chocolate chip cookie making? Sometimes Google, sometimes internet, because I find internet recipes too, but you know who I find? I love to find like someone that's been cooking for a long time. Someone that's been doing this for her family for a long time. So Mama Bell, did you guys watch Mama Bell? I like their channel. So she has a Mama Bell's chocolate chip cookie recipe. She makes hundreds. It reminds me of way back in the day when I had lots of little kids at home. My table, like our table out here, would be full of cookies. We'd have a baking day and I'd literally cover the entire table with cookies. I did it a little bit in the mountains. I haven't done it really here because I have my countertop. But I watch it, I'm like, you know what? Surely her cookies are perfect. Surely they're amazing. So we are gonna do Mama Belle's chocolate chip cookies. So her recipe, I'm not gonna put it on here because it's hers, but go to her, just type in Mama Belle's chocolate chip cookie recipe and you'll get it. So I'm gonna do hers. The only thing I'm questioning, you know how I have to question things and do things different. She uses two thirds cup of butter and two thirds cup of shortening. So I bought this stuff to make cookies with because I figured if you're on junk food, you might as well have junk food all the way because butter is a little bit more expensive. I get that, we'll see. Maybe that'll ruin it and I'll have to use butter. I don't know, but I am gonna use shortening. So we're gonna make her cookies and then I'm going to do her, I think her secret ingredient is vanilla pudding, which I think that would be a life game changer, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure this is a secret. Mama Val, you let your secret out. So this will be good and then um, she does chocolate chips. I think she does big ones and little ones. I'm gonna do regular chocolate chips and then I'm gonna put in some of these because we have those. So that is gonna be the recipe I make. So I'm gonna mix all the stuff in my mixer right now, get that rolled, and then I'm gonna work on another um, dessert that I can't find anywhere. I don't even see it on the internet, which is, I guess, a good positive thing. I'm sure maybe it'll go viral, maybe everybody will love it. It's a great dessert. So let's mix this up over here. Okay, I do know this much for cookies. You get all your butters, your sugars, your eggs, your vanilla, and mix all that in your mixer. Separable, mix up your dry ingredients, your flours, your baking soda, salt, that kind of thing, and then and your pudding, mix those together, then add it here, and then add your chocolate chips. Okay, I feel like that is gonna be the hookup for cookies. Thank you, Mama Val, for sharing your recipe with people because it's delicious. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. It looks like it's nice and good. Doesn't look, I'm sure, I think it's the shortening. It's gotta be a combination of shortening and vanilla pudding. So awesome. I'm gonna put mine in the refrigerator because I'm not gonna bake it just yet, or should I just start? Let me, just in case. I'm sure she doesn't put it in the refrigerator, but let me put mine in the refrigerator because we do live in Florida. It's awful hot down here already. It's already muggy, so I'll put it in the refrigerator just for a little bit while I work on my banana split dessert. This next recipe is banana split ice cream dessert. Now, I haven't been able to find this exact recipe online. I found similar ones, similar ones that do it kind of, but not how we do. We like to take like a real banana split and basically make it into a nice, like big giant pan of frozen dessert. So in a large family, if you were to just buy ice cream and toppings and make um, banana splits, your stuff's gonna go real quick. It really does. <laughs> So what you do is you come up with desserts and put them in like nine by 13 pans. And guess what? It stretches it so much more. So we have been making this thing for a long time. This recipe, I'm trying to think, I had a cookbook. I can't, I think it was called The Basics and More. I think that's where I got it from, pretty sure. But I gave the cookbook to a friend and one of the recipes, I'm like, oh, let me copy this recipe down because that is where um, it came from. And so it was a Mennonite Amish cookbook and very good. So what I'm gonna do is, the only thing I could not get at the store because I, I don't even know, again, I don't know if there was a recipe because I don't have it. What, in the recipe, you put bananas, you make a crust, you put bananas, you put ice cream, you put all the ice cream toppings, strawberry, pineapple, chocolate, caramel, or caramel. But 
um, and I don't know if the Christian one has it, this I guess is the way we do it, um, they didn't have pineapple topping at Walmart at all. I think a couple years ago I ended up buying it on Amazon. Let me get a spoon. And I had to buy like five jar. Oh, <laughs> I heard a chirping noise and I'm like, don't even tell me there's a cricket in my house. But anyways, side note, the boys bought a little cur uh, chirping cur a cricket and it would just go off randomly with like motion sensor and yeah, I'd be like, what is that noise? And it was a little plastic toy and it was funny because I ended up um, giving our neighbor one of our couple pieces of our furniture and I, we had to flip it over and put it in our car and there was that sticky tab of a cricket on her furniture and I'm like, oh, hey, sorry, that's my boy. She's like, that's okay. She goes, I had all boys too. <laughs> so I have to laugh. Am I going to be able to get this up? There we go. Okay. So for the recipe, I, there was no canned crushed pineapple. Like, you know, the pineapple topping, that's delicious. I think that's my favorite. So I'm going to make some. I kind of figured at the store, I was like, surely I can make it. Half a cup of sugar and um, a 20 ounce thing. Is it 20 ounce? 20 ounce of pineapple. And then let's do two tablespoons of cornstarch. Kind of like pie topping. And then we're just going to let this thicken. Heat up and thicken here. Wrong burner. My stove is dirty, I haven't cleaned it yet today. So this, we're just gonna stir and let it do its thing. Okay, so then this is one. Now, another topping that you have to make is your fudgy topping. Now, this is a really good one. You can use jar stuff, but I guess it's a little bit more expensive, so we've always made it. Get yourself a package of chocolate chips. Half a stick of butter. I'm gonna use the fake version. And then a third cup of milk. We're gonna put this in here, we're gonna heat this up too, I think. I need to get smarter. Why do I turn the wrong one on? My burners are different sizes. That would be why it's um, easier to cook things on without like this one's a lot bigger. You know, the burners, you have a smaller one, it's better for melting chocolate, like this one's probably the better chocolate one. Uh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna heat this up. This one's gonna thicken as it comes to a boil. This is gonna melt these right here, and I have to let this cool. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my recipe, okay. So let's do that here. So remind me next time to just make my strawberry topping as well. If you're gonna make all your own toppings, you might as well, you get way more. Like, remember how small those little jars are? I have some. They're so tiny. And for the price you pay, I bought strawberry and I bought caramel. I could have made those much more inexpensively, but it was one of those things that I'm like, oh, I'll just buy them. Okay, so this is looking really good. This is just a nice fudgy topping. Just stir it really good. This should thicken up here. If it comes to a boil, this looks really good. It just, I think it just goes into melting. Yeah, you just let it melt. Okay, so this one is going to be good. I'm going to shut this one off. This one, you just want it to be melted. It just thickens a little bit thicker like a hot fudge sauce. So we need to let this cool. I'm gonna just move it over here. Uh, this we need to come to a boil. And then I'm gonna get my pans out so we can start assembling our dessert. This is one of those desserts that is time consuming. I feel like you have to do the bottom layer. You need to make the toppings. You gotta to take the ice cream, then it's gotta freeze, and then you gotta add, it's like layers. But well worth the layers, I promise. So what I'm gonna do is over here, I got my food processor. I took my pineapple topping, poured it in like a spaghetti dish, like a pasta bowl and stuck it in the freezer so it would have just a small amount so it could get cold faster. Over here, four packages of graham crackers and two sticks of melted butter, just grind them up. So my recipe is for two nine by 13 pans. Now, from what I remember, because you know, we always make way more and we always stuff way more. So I'm going to stretch mine between two and then a half, because I'm gonna make a lactose-free one for Jensen. He can do all these toppings, but I'll just use different ice cream. So I'm gonna stretch this out over three pans and uh, go from there.
Okay, now you're gonna do all of your in, your toppings. Like you're gonna put your bananas on, you're gonna put your pineapple, your strawberry, your caramel, not the fudgy stuff, on your graham cracker topping. So you don't bake it at all, it's a no-bake dessert. So I'm just gonna take, chop these up, put these and cover the bottom layer of the pans. So all I did was throw that strawberry sauce in the microwave. It's funny, it has a weird scent to it. It's just jarred sauce. Remind me to make my own next time. Make your own. It's literally frozen strawberries, sugar, cornstarch. It'll thicken it right up. Way better. Yes, buy jar stuff if you want. It's just expensive. So drizzle that on there, and then I'm gonna put caramel on it, and then I'm gonna do half of the pineapple because a jar is about 12 ounces. And we're gonna have like real banana splits tonight. So I bought enough toppings to have like real ones. I have some bananas left, so we'll have real ones. And these are gonna go in the freezer and freeze solid for another time in the next few months. Months, maybe the next month, we'll see. Now, this is the part that gets messy. Ice cream now comes in a weird shape. What is this, be a cylinder shape around this container? When we started making this, it came in a block, like a box, maybe. Like, I'm thinking like a Winn-Dixie. They might even have square containers. I don't even know if, uh, like a box. Do they even have this anymore? I don't even know. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I probably could have found them there. So what I used to do was I used to take this and um, open up the entire box and then just slice it slice it real thin then you can just lay your layers on and kind of spread it really gently so I'm gonna see I don't know how that works for you know container ice cream because it's a lot different so I'm gonna try to um, put it out here on a cookie sheet maybe we're gonna try to go around this here plop it on the cookie sheet and then kind of cut it do I have two containers of ice cream it is two I'll say this is one isn't gonna fit this I gotta get another one so we're gonna do our best here I'm gonna have to go get one more. Okay, oh, that came out. Okay, that came out good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna slice it as thin as you can and basically lay it on top of your pan and then you kind of smooth it with a spatula. Now that ice cream you want to let freeze solid for a little bit because then you're going to add your chocolate fudgy topping on top. So good. So it takes time to do it. It'll be good. It worked out really good. It wasn't too bad cutting it. it just kind of, you could probably mold the ice cream and chop it perfectly, but it worked out good what I had. So those are in the freezer. Hopefully I'll get to those before I go, which I should. And we'll see how frozen they get. And then let's see how the Mama Bell's cookies turn out. I know they're good. Mine would be, I didn't use real butter, and that probably will make a difference. We'll see how it works out. I already like the way that these scoop out vanilla pudding. I feel like it's good. Okay, cookies are in the oven. I just had to go out to my refrigerator, my freezers, and kind of, they're so stuffed. So I had to think, what do I want to make tomorrow? Because I need some space for it. This pan and these cups right here because I need to make some popsicles because this morning I woke up and what did I find? The children have found the lemonade. They found the lemonade, the $2 lemonade. That's like a whole dollar gone. <laughs> 
So what I need to do, I need to make this into popsicles before it disappears, and then I probably will make, can I make Kool-Aid in here? It's probably the same size as a gallon, isn't it? Maybe I'll make my Kool-Aid and stick it in here. That'll probably be a thing, but I need to do that before these disappear. So I just needed a spot in my freezer to put it. So I just took out some buns because we can do some chopped subs tomorrow. And I also took out the chicken because I need to do my fajita chicken meat. So that'll be coming tomorrow. And then I'm like, I have the juice and then I have um, frozen strawberries. Good to put those in there. And then I was like, oh, I have wild blueberries or blueberries to use up. Remember when I went to Walmart looking for the wild ones because they were smaller? These are probably smaller. Remember I wanted to make them with for my dad. So then I'm like, oh, should I save these? But these have been in there for a little while, so I don't want to give them freezer burn strawberries. We'll put them in our, our <laughs> popsicle thing. So this is easy. This is the first batch of popsicles. We're making a ton. I just don't have a ton of freezer room right now, so I have to do it slowly. So this, we just like lemonade. You like lemonade? This is $2 for one of these. That's ridiculous. We could drink all of this gone in a meal, and everybody gets like a little glass. So it goes so quick. If they make like a, um, we used to pull these out for dinner. I'm like, okay, everybody get a, you just get a small glass because there's not much in there for everybody. But popsicles are really good that way. So I'm gonna just put out, get all cups. I get the, what kind do I get? I get the five ounce cups, plastic. Paper works okay. I think we found some paper ones at the discount store one time. They're okay, but it does stick to it. So you have to peel them off. If you have nothing else, it's okay. But for these, what you do is you hold your hands on the outside squeeze and the popsicle pops out so it's so simple forget those popsicle molds i mean it looks fancier but whatever whatever you need you can just make a whole lot more with these so i'm going to put these on a cookie sheet here and then fill it up with lemonade and i'm going to put a few pieces of frozen fruit in it it's good That's where I have to disappear and ever so carefully, ever so carefully take them out to my garage and put them in the freezer. <laughs> Wish me luck. So while I'm waiting for cookies, I was able to get the tray of um, lemonade out there carefully. I just had to carefully stack it like on, you know, the hot dogs and the containers of things. And so we got it. It's good. So what I'm going to do now is make up some Kool-Aid. Hold on. My other thing I washed. So get all Kool-Aid. Yes, Kool-Aid. If not, we'll find soda or something. Let's make some Kool-Aid. I think that, um, let me see if this will go into like one of these. I don't know if it will or not. That'd be great in the refrigerator because we just keep this open thing in here and I'm always afraid someone's going to spill it. We still remember the old, like, my, well, you know what? We never drank Kool-Aid growing up, so I can't, no, we never had like one of the containers with the lids. Remember those? Like I had friends that had that, but we never had Kool-Aid. Yeah, we never had, it was like a treat to have Kool-Aid in our household so we never uh, used it we would have like my mom would get the frozen juices and we'd have juice but we'd have them like in the the oblong containers that's how she had hers so this might fit all in here i'm not gonna rinse this out it's just got lemonade in it let me see if uh, we can make this fit in here but here's my new juice containers my lemonade containers okay so i'm gonna make another one up here and we'll just do lemonade and great that will be perfect okay what a good day cookies i got one batch out the other one is almost done i'll pull that one out and then um cookies will get done i'll throw in some dinner here it's a great day today i don't feel like good days when you get things accomplished you want to get accomplished and you're like okay that worked out to be a good day so that's how i'm feeling right now i have a note for about an hour to check the popsicles i'm looking at my timer here for my day today so i think i'll be doing good for time wise things i need to get done for dinner tonight i'm gonna do um the chicken fajita meat and broccoli and pasta because we like it it's delicious nothing too fancy yet tomorrow I'll, you know i'll have to do more prep and make more meals like i think we're gonna do the fajita meat and then um i might i don't think i need to make more breakfast sausage so i still have some in there i was gonna mix it up but i'm like thinking i think i have two more containers of it so might as well use it up before I start making more. So we'll probably do some breakfast sa sandwiches tomorrow. I'll get some muffins, like the biscuits made. Those are really good. And then um, fajita meat and, I don't, and subs. I'm going to do chopped chop subs. I'm telling you everything I'm making tomorrow. That will be good. Okay, perfect. Look at that. Oh, kids will be happy. I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. Perfect. And then my other cookies should be done. And then we can uh, 
get, look at that, perfect. This will be reused probably all summer. So these cookies look perfect. They remind me of the ones you would buy in the store, you know, like in the containers. So Greg likes chocolate chip cookies and he likes the kind. He likes like a Nestle Toll House where it's got a little bit of the, you know, greasy, oily kind, I guess. That's the kind he likes. So I don't know if this will pass as a good cookie or not. I guess we'll find out. I'm not a cookie connoisseur. I don't really care much about cookie flavors and tastes. Like that's just not something I can go, oh, I need more of this, or it needs to be more of this. That's just not something I do. So I will see how uh, he lets me know how they'll taste them. The kids, I know the kids will like them because they like those kind of cookies, but I don't know if he will. We'll just we'll have to see if those have passed for using this recipe because we did awesome. And hopefully the next time I make them, they'll turn out just as good because, you know, it seems to happen. I'll make them really good the first time, and the next time I'll be like, oh my goodness, total fail. What happened? So I'm going to scoop some more of these out, get these in, and we'll keep moving. So for dinner tonight, we're gonna do the pasta with chicken and broccoli because it's easy, delicious. I have one more package of that wonderful, delicious fajita meat that we made, it's huge. So this will make a big batch. And we went to Sam's Club yesterday and I was walking through the aisle. What did I find? My oil, remember when, I'm gonna fill this up. Remember I was in the store and it was not in the oil aisle. So I ordered it and then I was like, okay, no big deal, because it was still cheaper than the name brand one, the Bertoli one, I think it was. And then I went around the corner and what did I see? A bottle of this on the end cap. I'm like, why would you do that? Put some in the main aisle and some in the outside aisle, but they did not. So what I did was I went to, I was in the store, so I went to cancel my order. Well, for whatever reason it said, this, this task cannot be completed. And so I'm like, okay, no big deal. I won't get any because that's you know, $50 worth of oil. So I didn't. <laughs> And then, so I assumed the order went through. I looked, it showed that it was um, going through. It didn't say like it wasn't. So I'm like, okay, my oil will show up. And then I got an email a few days later. It says, your um, order has been canceled. I'm like, oh, and this was after I already gone shopping everywhere to get my oil. So I'm like, you know what? I'll use canola oil, I'll use whatever. Well then yesterday when we were shopping, or went to go get um, pizza and Cokes, 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 slushies or whatever the kids had, um, I saw that and I was like, ooh, grab me a bottle of that because I need it. So we have olive oil. So what I'm going to do, heat this up over here, and then all I'm going to do is put in this fajita meat right here. It's already cooked. It's just frozen. It's delicious. Make your own. Look at that big giant bag. And it was so easy to make. I'm going to make some tomorrow. We're going to mix it up in that. So put this in here. It's going to froze. It's going to take a little bit of time to heat. And then I'm going to use frozen broccoli. You can use fresh broccoli. I, um, I have fresh broccoli tonight. My veggies are not going bad. Like this week, usually those cucumbers go bad because I don't use them right away. And the broccoli gets yucky. Well, I haven't touched anything. We used two, well, I can't say nothing. We did grab some up for salad and we used two heads of lettuce. I just haven't gotten in there to go cut any up to have because it's been such a busy week. Like I'll grab them and eat them, but not like enough to like, oh, prepare these. So I'm thankful everything's kind of lasting because that, was that last week I went shopping? It was, I went last Friday, correct? Yes. Is that what I did? I don't even know. Whatever my days are, it wasn't this week though. So this week was Walmart. So I'm glad that it's lasting. So this is going to be easy. It's literally fajita chicken meat and broccoli. You put a lot of garlic. Um, you put real garlic and I use garlic powder. And um, I have actually got some of the onions in there. I put some onions in there because I have a lot of it. Salt and pepper. That's it. And then let me put a lid on this. You know what? Let me put the frozen broccoli in there too because it's frozen. We might as well. Let's just do it all at once. Okay, that's a big pot, but everything's frozen solid, so it will all smash down. So I will mix this up, just heat it up, put those spices in there, and then um, that's all I'll do right now. Get a pot of water out, get it ready to boil. When I get back today, I will boil some pasta and we will mix this mixture in with that and then add Parmesan cheese. It's delicious. It's so simple, but it is a favorite among everybody. If you need to, if your noodles are too dry, add more olive oil to it. It's just a favorite, easy, like it's been a go-to. We started eating it in the mountains and then um, the kids and I love it. And like everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. If they don't love tons of broccoli, they don't have to grab tons of bro broccoli. So it works out really good. Perfect. And then what else are we going to do today? I got to figure out lunch. Let me go look at my refrigerator and see what kind of food we have for lunch. Let me look at the air compressor. We got the air compressor out to blow floaties. Let's open the refrigerator. It smells like onions in here. So 
We had those wonderful hot dogs yesterday. Those are so good. Oh, slaw dogs, by the way, are delicious. So I want to kind of straighten in here and see what I got for lunch today. I guess, you know what? It could be hot dogs or there's chili. I know. Let me look. Oh, there's some chicken. Okay, plenty of leftovers. Cucumbers we cut up for salad, what, a few days ago? Remember how sometimes they get smushy? These are like nice and dry. So cucumbers are very good in season right now. So this is actually really good. We have, um, I just have to hide my lemonade, which is way back there. Don't touch the lemonade, kids. <laughs> Don't touch mom's lemonade. I want to use it for, uh, so I'll reach all the way back there and get that one. I hide that with my green juice. And here, put this right here, drink these up. Um, so we have for lunch, hot dogs. There's hot dogs, there's chili, there's slaw onions there's also eggs from an egg salad and there's a little bit of chicken salad still and chili i put the fritos up here and that's it so this is really good we're looking so good for um for dinner not using too much oh the eggs this one was like broken i wasn't sure this one okay it's just one let me throw this one away i won't i won't use this today because it's like peppers but i do have a tiny little bit of chicken perfect Everything is going great. Jaden had a cookie. She said it was good. She was not dry. Really good. So that's good. This is all cooked down. I'm going to use a little bit of this. This is onion and green pepper and garlic. Just a little bit because it's going to make it really, you know, really oniony. That good onion flavor. So what I'm going to add to mine is garlic because we like this a whole lot of it. And then Italian seasoning. And then I'll add salt and pepper. good about using the frozen broccoli is it gets a little more smushier so it kind of mixes in really well so this is done that's it this is gonna sit I'll let that cool I'll put it away this is my pot of water I'm gonna be boiling that for pasta when I get home so let me put this away please with the cookies so that's a great thing what I'm gonna do here is I totally forgot should have done this before I washed and added water to it for the you can hear me right the um ice cream dessert you want to add chopped nuts to the top it's one of those things that I'll have to see if it's completely frozen or not. It looked like it was kind of smushed, so I'll have to kind of see. When it's frozen solid, then you can add your hot fudge on top, and then you add Cool Whip on it, and then you put um, chopped nuts, and we put cherries on it, we like to put sprinkles on it, and it's delicious. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. So, but you want to chop up your nuts here. So I'm gonna do a whole container, because we will use this for lots of things. It's supposed to be good, just grind these up. Out to the garage, I think we uh, tried to get those off there. It didn't come off very easy, so I just left them. Okay, these are ready. For, I kept opening the refrigerator. I peeked at these really, really carefully. So they are partial, which is good. So I'm just gonna stick popsicles, stick in them. You can do this, put plastic over them, but if you just set your timer, look at that. Is that gonna go? And you just wanna set them in here carefully. So let me put all, what, 50 in here? Perfect, got them all in there. Now you're gonna have some that are a little bit off, but 45 minutes is the time frame. So this is good. I'm like packed in here with my freezer, so I'd love to do more, but I only have that one shelf. So then when these are going in bags, where am I gonna put them next? So, you know, I also have to fit a spot for the ice cream sandwich dessert. So, you know, smush, smush, smush for a little bit. We'll be making treats for a little while. So the ice cream is a little smushy, so I'm gonna just let that sit. I will do that when I get home today because I'm not gonna have time, and that's okay. I can still film later, right? I don't know if I'm gonna film shopping because, you know, scratch your neck hives. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it should be fine. I'm gonna be focused on getting clothing. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, but we will head out and get that and then um, come back and finish up dinner. So I think the cookies, I just got three more in the oven. Everything's wiped set. All I needed to do today, I wanna to make sure there was lunch. Breakfast is easy, and then um, cookies. And we'll have, tonight we're gonna have banana splits for dinner, not the dessert. We'll put that in the freezer, and I got popsicles started, so it's been a great, great day. So I probably will stop right here. I'm gonna stop for you, I'm looking around. 
I think that's it. So I think I'll stop here and then um, I will finish up everything in a little bit. I do, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna film going shopping. It might be easier not to. We'll see how the day rolls. So if not, you'll see me there. If not, you'll see me back in the kitchen. Okay, you know something I didn't do today that I like to do every single day is your encouragement for the day. I apologize. I'd like to do this in the beginning. You know, it's day three. I'd like to keep with that. So my encouragement to you today is, the scripture is Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for good, not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. So the question for you to kind of think about for today is how does knowing that God has plans for your future impact your perspective on that thing you're dealing with? Hmm. Knowing that God has things for good, not evil. And something you can think about is recall a time where things worked out good that you were expecting to turn out terribly. That's a good reflection to think about because then you know that, you know what, though, it did work out to be better than expected. So then your action step is going to be to write down a specific hope or goal that you have and commit to prayer for it and put that in God's hands for that. That's a good thing to do. I know sometimes in my life when I think about things and they just don't think they're going to turn out good and I you know, have to remind myself that God has my good worked out like he has the intentions for my life to turn out good and if their evil wants to come against me or if i want to start thinking that the enemy or the enemy is trying to come against me i have to remember that you know what god's got my back he is there to remind me that you know what i've got good plan for your future i'm not a bad god i don't have bad things planned for you i have good things planned for your life so all right that's your encouragement for today so we are getting out the door here so what i'm doing is we did the group stuff that we have to do they'll still have to do their individual school but that can be later today i'm not worried about that when we get home because i just have to get there at a set time. So what I'm doing is I'm whipping together um, sandwiches here. So I've got a chicken salad here, one wanted, and then I do have hard boiled eggs. So I thought, why don't I make a egg salad sandwich? I'm gonna have to get another one of these out. So we're doing egg salad. Some are packing fruit. Some grab the cauliflower. Those are so good. You know, the, I wanna call them fugly chips. They're not fugly, the ugly chips. I think they're ugly chips that we got. Those were really good. They like those. So I'll probably do some of this here. This will be good and have egg salad, grab their waters, and then we're gonna head out the door. So we're gonna head out, hopefully get everything we need. I know we will, I think we will. Actually, I know we will. We'll get everything we need at a, hopefully a couple store, hopefully stores and be done. So I'm gonna make this, pack this up. Cookies are delicious. It's a great day, it's a great day. The sun is shining, it's beautiful. It was rain, it's kind of uh, cloudy and dreary yesterday, but I think the sun is gonna be out and to be awesome. So pack and lunch, head out. I mean a peanut butter sandwich. Okay, this is gonna go. It's got chips, it's got cookies, it's got fruit and sandwiches. We're gonna be heading out. Okay, out and we got in the car. So we're gonna get all of our stuff. We've got stuff to return. We've got things to pick up. So I brought my cooler bag to get my lactate sour cream stuff to drop off at UPS. It's gonna be a great day. Let's go ahead, it's nice and sunny. It's like 82 degrees, feels awful hot. It's gonna be a great day. All right, we're going to TJ Maxx. Let's hope we find everything we need. We found a lot of clothes, a lot of good clothes here at TJ Maxx, which is awesome. The line is long, it's like all the way out by the door here that's where i'm in line and it's all the way up and all through there crazy okay so we're doing good we got all of our a lot of stuff here so now we just have to go get a few more things which is good the bulk was there that's a positive thing so now we're gonna head over to marshall's and i think i need like a rec room shoot which is over there as well okay it's beautiful 80 degrees sunshine feels amazing so let's go ahead to some more stores okay find stuff in marshall's thank goodness so we found a ton of shirts i'm gonna get a ton of shirts for craig jensen and steven got a wreath for my front door the orange is cute and then um, sesame sticks because you can never find those and some flowers for the kitchen. Okay, did really good, man. Oh, we had a lot at Marshall's. My goodness, I got a lot of stuff there. So I was surprised. Usually Marshall's is not that good. So we got tons there. So I'm just going to run into Rack Room Shoes and get shoes because you need good supportive shoes. That's something I'll spend a little bit more on for money because feet are important, obviously, and they last a whole lot longer. Okay, we did good. We got some shoes that were much needed. So that's good. I got to go find the kids. I think they are... F5 below. I just gotta go find out where they are. And uh, I think we're, I think we're, are we done? Are we done with clothes? I gotta see, I think we are. Look at that walkway, it's so pretty. And they got this big old fountain over here. Look at that. Fun. Worked out really good. I grabbed some shoes for Craig and I, and there was one pair that I really wanted, but it was buy one, get one half off. And I already had gotten two that are the ones that I needed. And so then I was like, ooh. And she's like, you have a $15 coupon for next time. And I'm like, I probably won't be in here next time. So then I just went to the car and got autumn. I said, you need some new shoes. So we got her a pair of shoes and I was able to get the other one. So basically after we bought all six pairs of shoes, it actually worked out to be cheap, way cheap, like $40 a shoe, which sounds ridiculous, but for a brand name 
really nice shoes. It was a good deal. So I had to laugh because she bought Birkenstocks, I don't know, four years ago. And I remember, you know, she's at that age where she's growing and I was like, are you sure your feet aren't gonna grow anymore? Because $100 is a lot to pay, spend for shoes. And so I really didn't want to pay that because I was thinking the next year I'm gonna have to buy you another pair. And she laughed, she's like, mom, I still have the same shoes. So for four years, the Birkenstocks, I don't have the keys. The Birkenstocks fit really good. So <laughs> Birkenstocks last forever. So I'm like, let's get you some new ones. So she's got some new ones, teenage kind. Okay, I think they're taking a break in the car for food and then we're gonna go ahead over to Old Navy. That's where they wanna go. It's beautiful, oh my goodness, today's a pool day. I'm not in my pool. Start going over to Old Navy here. It's always a staple. Hopefully find some tank tops and some shorts for the girls and maybe some shirts for Steve and me. Hopefully shorts too. So we'll go see what we can find in there. We did pretty good today, I'm really good with stuff, so. Feeling like a good successful day. It's beautiful. I love it. They have music in there. Planters in here. That's a great place. UTC Mall area. I walked over here to the clearance and I found this. I used to, they had this before and I loved it. And I was just looking at one of my pictures and I'm like, I wish I would have kept that sweatshirt because it had a stain on it. They have it, 20 bucks. I'm gonna get it for, uh, it's a little bit bigger. It'll be nice for it next winter. I was so glad to find that. <laughs> Coconut Flakes totally forgot this. Okay, we've had a crazy busy day. Left the, um, clothing thing and all that so then Brooklyn had to mail something so I was right next to a Publix I said let me run in and get my sour cream and this so here I am I got it right there two for six on top two this till April maybe in March let me see I just need three okay cool so I need to get that and I needed to get the um coconut okay so I was able to get those two things it worked out. We're already getting like close to five o'clock and we're getting home, but we got everything we need to get. So that's a positive. The only thing I needed to go to was Lowe's to get muriatic acid, but didn't. And that's okay. It's like, well, we'll get that another day. I can get that any other time unless we see one on the way down. So let's go see if we're going to make it to the car, but it's been a good day. So home. So we've got this heating up right here, the pasta and the broccoli, and I've got some water boiling here. And then my chocolate has been sitting out and it's like nice and thick. So I'm gonna have to kind of reheat that up to put it uh, on my ice cream, but later we'll focus on dinner first. Got my noodles all boiled and cooked. I'm gonna make the same, smells of chicken. I'm just gonna add it all in here with some Parmesan cheese. It's yummy and delicious. So dinner is done. This is easy, delicious. I add a little bit more Parmesan cheese to it. I'm gonna serve this up. Everybody's gonna take their meal and eat delicious right here. And then I'm gonna finish up the um, banana split dessert because I feel like I need to do that. So my chocolate sat for a little while. So it just got a little bit more thicker. No big deal. I could've heated it up, but I'm like, I will pipe it. So I'm just gonna pipe it back and forth on my um, two desserts. I put some whipped topping on top and then put chopped nuts, sprinkles, and cherries, delicious. The two, I'll put whipped topping. The one that I'm leaving, the lactose free, I'm not putting any whipped topping on it. And then we're using Christmas sprinkles because I have a lot of those and the other ones are way on the top. So I figured this will be just fine. Done with the dessert. So these I put down on a piece of wax paper and then put tin foil on top. These are delicious. They're gonna go back in the freezer. You can leave them in there for about three months. They'll be great anytime to eat. The only problem is when you use tin foil pans and you have ice cream desserts and you chop it, sometimes it goes through the pan, so be careful of that. I'm sure we'll eat this. So it's been a great day. I'm finished. I'm done. I'm gonna clean up and enjoy dinner, swim in the pool, enjoy a relaxing evening. So you come back tomorrow, we'll finish our popsicles. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye.